Hi, the holidays are almost here and we want to share with you one of our new holiday favorites that we've kind of added to our repertoire of dishes in Thanksgiving or even New Year's or Everyone Christmas. Everyone can make mashed potatoes for the holidays and yes. we are making an alternative to your regular mashed potatoes. Yes, it's mm -hmm. cauliflower and here, let me show you this cauliflower. This is one big badass. Sorry, can I say that? She, she just did. <laughs> All right. Cauliflower. And then um, we have parsnips. So parsnips kind of look like big uh, carrots. carrots. They look like white carrots. And so we have basically one cauliflower to anywhere from two parsnips up to four parsnips, however much or parsnips. Six. I mean, it's really, these are really sweet, so they make them kind of like a sweeter. They do. And potato. these are kind of big ones, so you know, they vary in size too at the market. Yeah, definitely. So we're cutting up our parsnips. Go ahead and put it in there. And into then into cubes. Into cubes. And then we're going to cut this, and this is a pretty big one, Meg. So I say that we're going to use half. Use just half of this. All right? And then you can hold that up. What it I'm looks gonna, like the inside of your brain. That's why it's called brain food. <laughs> so inside this is the core. I am just going to take the core out. So this right here is what she is cutting out. That's right. And then we're just gonna like cut. I typically don't cut that out too. I feel like it's good filling for the mashed potatoes and you cook it down anyways. You're gonna boil this all. Okay. So I'm just gonna cut them all roughly. You want them to be the same size. Do you wanna grab a knife, Meg, and help me cut this guy up? And then, so we're gonna cut it up. We're gonna boil it until it's just soft. And then, once it's soft, we're gonna do it just like you would mash potatoes. So we'll use a potato masher, we're gonna whip it, and then, so we decided to use the cauliflowers instead of potatoes because during the holidays when you're eating all these meats, it's really important for us, what we love sharing with you guys is food combining and foods that are going to work really well together. So, so vegetables these, with meat go really well. Potatoes that we're, we've all grown up with, the meat and potato diet, unfortunately that potato really is not a good combination with any kind of meat, whether so it's while, steak, turkey, chicken, anything. And so what that means is it's just gonna be harder for your body to digest and absorb all those nutrients. So we wanna be getting the most bang for our buck in terms of what we're eating and the good it's doing for our body. And for me, I didn't wanna have a tummy ache after my big uh, Thanksgiving dinner. So I'm gonna put this in some boiling water and we're gonna let this boil. About three minutes, you're kind of blanching these, getting them, actually no, longer. And then what I'm gonna do, let me grab this spoon. We have some, here let's, let's make space here. We have some that are almost ready here. And it's, I typically would use a fork to kind of tell if they're ready, because you want them really soft. All right, so let's see. I like these little scooper things too. They're really great. Uh, oh, these are almost ready, Meg. Another couple minutes. And so what we're gonna do with these is we're gonna add, typically you would add butter to your mashed potatoes, and this is perfectly fine to add butter. You can also add an alternative, right? Like melt or olive oil. You don't need any butter. We're, um, we love doing the clean program, and so a great alternative of making this clean is just using olive oil. Olive oil. That's right. And we're just going to add a little Celtic sea salt. And the liquid that we're going to do to make it really light and fluffy is you can either use a vegetable stock or a chicken stock. So you don't need that creamy, heavy, creamy milk and stuff with this to get creamy mashed potatoes. That's our little secret. So, but the biggest secret of all, to make them not kind of sticky and gooey, now mashed potatoes, you really want to make sure that you don't add it just cold, your liquid cold. So we've heated up our stock, all right? And now I'm going to take, where's that bowl? There it is. I'm going to take these out of here. So our cauliflower and parsnips have been cooking down for a good five to Seven minutes. ten minutes. Um, so parsnips are a root vegetable so they might take a little bit longer but that's where mm, 
potato masher comes in. So if they're soft enough, you typically do not need the masher. I find it just one more thing you're going to have to clean up at the end of this mess. I know, but it's fun to mash. So hopefully these are smushy enough. <laughs> they look smushy enough. They're getting there. Here, you, you try it a little bit. <laughs> Get your strength to go in here, Megs. There you go. Now they're doing it. So while she's mashing that, what did we start? We're going to add some Ooh. olive oil. <laughs> We're going to add some olive oil. Again, you can add butter to this. I prefer butter, but we're cleaning right now, so we're going to just add a little olive oil to it. We're going to make this clean. Okay. And then we're going to add, while she's mashing, some chicken stock to it. Let's see. This is where you whip it now. Okay, but we want to get all of that good and mushy. This is when... Here, I'll do this and you can... Nope. Yeah. This is how we need to whip it up. All right, whip it. No Let's more mashing. Good. Let's. Okay. okay, this is looking good, Meg. So I'm going to add some mm -hmm. fresh garlic this, to it. This is messy. So good. I'm going to add some of the salt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This oh, is looking really good. The garlic. So delicious. I think we are very pretty there. Here, let me take this down. Ooh, this look good. Okay. So Yum. we have here some beautiful Call mashed mashed mashers. Mashers. Okay, let's do it. Let's set it down. Okay. Let's try this. It's really hot. Cheers. <laughs> Blow it. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Now the difference between mashed potatoes and this is that you can get this actually even creamier and fluffier the more you cook it down. The more you let the veggies boil. That's right. Or you can leave it like this and it has kind of a ricer texture to it, but it's delicious. So good. So for the full recipe, you can go to currygirlskitchen.com Make sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. We're constantly Facebook. Yeah, constantly uploading stuff. So we hope you enjoy this as much as we do. <laughs>